Hi, welcome. The next thing I want to explain to you is um, something called a frame. Every tiling window management works differently. They have their own developers, their own vision, how everything should be tiled and managed and all that. <clears throat> and in Herbsluf WM, they work with frames. And the best way to show you a frame is actually to log out. When you boot up, you see something strange, a red line, something black, that's going to be your frame. It's now gone. So the CSS or the, the layout, the, the design has been applied. Colors are gone at this point in time. And this is one big frame, which you don't see at this point in time. Control T is going to open a window in that frame. Another control T is going to open another window in the same frame. So that's for us, that's probably enough. We have our thing, we can do our thing, and we say, okay, in this site, I'm gonna go and have a look at this file and that file, and gonna open this with a right mouse click, gonna check with sublime text, and so on. That's enough. But we're going to explain now a part that's in here. Let's go for the data. Let's get rid of that. We are talking about this part of the config, the frames. So there is a frame which we don't see at this point in time and we can split the frame. We can use two things, a next frame, an empty frame down at the bottom or an empty frame down at the right. We can also explode the frames and more important, get rid of them. Mod R, super R, get rid of it. So let's give it a try. A mod O is going to do a split to the right. So we have something here and I've deliberately make, made this, this look like it is now. I mean, otherwise I could not grasp the idea of what is actually a frame. So you can unhide all the colors and all the spaces and all that. So you don't see them anymore, but you need to f you understand and visually you see it now that this thing is a frame and the black thing to the side here is also a frame. Now moving from here to there, I can't just click. I could click, but I couldn't. So I mean, <laughs> control T, I could click. In this frame, I can switch just with the mouse, but with the mouse, I can't click and change the frame. So a old tab is going to switch between frame one and frame two, okay? Clicking here won't work because there is nothing available. Now I can click because there's a window, but here there's nothing to click. So I, I need to f do an old tab. That uh, right side is blue, control T. And now of course I can switch between those two guys. So that's how frames work. And so this one I, we can get rid. So we have a frame to the left, a frame to the right. We can actually split the frame again into a mod bottom, so mod U, and we get another one. And we can, with Alt Tab, we can move about and say, for instance, in this guy, I'm gonna show my C matrix, which I have not installed, but glances, glances is maybe there. So there you go. And you have your position your frames, three frames. And what's also important maybe is to get rid of them again. So a super R, see what happens to the windows inside it. This guy has just moved from frame. There are two frames now, but the application that was in frame three was not deleted, was just moved up. A super R is going to move it up again. You see? So everything is now in one big frame, which we don't see at this point in time as layout, but it is. It's a little bit complex, but it, um, it's, it requires some exercise and then you'll get it. Enjoy framing. <laughs>